God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. That is his love. He that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. I, if you carry God, barriers cannot stand. If you carry God, witches cannot even look at your face. If you carry God, demons will want themselves in your environment. Don't go there. Don't go near. If that dwelling in love, dwelling in God. So when you become God's lover, you become a wonder to others. What is pulling others down cannot go near you. So to dwell in love is to dwell in God. To dwell in God is to bring down barriers. But what is dwelling in love? If you are in love with God, you'll be in love with His world. Who you talk about is who you love. Who you embrace is who you love. Who you visit is who you love. The person you want is always in your heart is who you carry his book. Saints, I like us to know. Try the love of God. You will not try other things in life. Walk the love of God. You will not look for another path in life. Embrace the love of God. You will hate every other thing in life. When you walk in love, you dominate barriers. Today, I decree the baptism of the spirit of love. In the name of Jesus Christ. Saint, when you become God's lover, you become a wonder to all. Now, say, hear this. Someone on Verse 1 to 9. The Bible says, The sea saw it and fled. What did the sea see? The sea saw God inside Moses. As it struck the rod, the sea said, Ah, this is Almighty. He parted in that time. When you carry the love of God, you carry God awesomely. And God's appearance will always terrify any mountain. The Bible says, at thy presence, mountains melt like wax. Mountains, they melt. You know mountain? Mountains are solid rocks. They melt. Which means every barrier is not, is not permitted to stand when you carry God. But carrying God is rooted in revelation. That I am not alone. I carry something that you cannot stop. 